In this video, we're going to talk about block pages. Block pages allow you to customize what a user sees when they attempt to access a website that's forbidden by your policy. Let's see an example. I'm going to go and attempt to visit dallascowboys.com. You can see here that because the network administrator, myself, does not like the Dallas Cowboys, it is blocked. There are several page elements here. First is the company logo at the top. Then inside the red warning box, we see the domain in question as well as the name of the organization which is blocking this website. We also have two links. If I click on the first one, I'm taken to a form. This allows users to submit a dispute over a domain and whether or not it should be blocked. It will trigger an email for you to review this request and see if you need to make any changes to your categories or whitelists or blacklists. Then at the very bottom of the page, I see Bypass Block. This button allows you to enter a bypass password to unblock the website. Now that we've seen an example, let's go ahead and configure a block page. In the dashboard, navigate to Policies, Block Pages. Click Add. Now there are two main options here. We can have either a hosted block page or an external block page. Let's talk about the external block page first. This option allows you to issue a 302 redirect. Whenever a user tries to go to a forbidden website, they are immediately redirected to a site of your choosing. This could be an internet site such as Google, or it could be a website that you host locally, which is accessible by your local machines. The other option, hosted block page, is what we just saw in our example. Let's run through the options here. At the top we have organization name, and this is what is displayed inside that red box that we saw earlier. There's also a notice email, which is the email address where block page disputes will be sent to when users fill out the notification form on the block page. And lastly, there's a custom logo, which allows you to upload the image that will be displayed at the top of the block page. The last component here is a bypass password. If we click on the tab at the top, we'll be allowed to enter a password which users can be given by you to bypass block pages. For obvious reasons, bypass passwords are only applicable to hosted block pages. After you create a block page, it must be assigned. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Navigate to Deployments, Sites. From here, I see all of my networks and I can simply click on the block page area on the right hand side and select the name of the block page that I wish to assign to a particular site. Once I've done that, the block page is assigned and I'm good to go. Thank you for watching this video and if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at dnsfilter.com.